Hey guys, Caitlin with Gravel here. I've traveled to over 25 countries, but that doesn't mean that I haven't made a ton of mistakes. Like taking the wrong bag, carrying way too much, underpacking, over planning, and under planning. So today I'm gonna help you solve these issues by using Notion. Later I'm gonna go through my exact template that will be downloadable for you guys to use. And no, this video is not sponsored by Notion. It's just an app that I literally use every day to keep my life organized, whether I'm traveling or I'm here at home. And I thought it could benefit you guys too. Have you ever gone on a trip and then when you got home, you just thought, I wish we did more. This isn't a common issue for type A people, but for us type Bers, this can definitely happen. One time I went to Hawaii with a friend for a week. And by the time we got home, we kind of felt like we had wasted the week on a beautiful island in the Pacific Ocean. I know, it's even sad to say now. Don't get me wrong, we still did some awesome cool stuff, had some really cool spontaneous moments with strangers who we then soon call friends, but by the time we got home, we just kind of felt like we could have done more. Usually on trips, people over plan and they get home exhausted and almost need another vacation. But what happens when you do the opposite and you kind of just don't embrace the place that you flew all the way to? The way to solve this is by planning but in a loose fashion and not being so fixated that if some of these things on the list just don't happen, that it's game over for you. The goal in using Notion for travel is to make sure that you end up doing the things that really matter to you and to the people that you're traveling with. Because just like a happy wife is a happy life, a happy group is a, a, a happy soup. Oh man, I'm so sorry. Of course, when spontaneous moments pop up while you're traveling, we do not wanna lose those or X those out because we plan to do something else. That is literally the reason we travel. It's like the creme de la creme. If you can come home and be like, hey, this crazy epic thing happened. We met this stranger we got in this car, all this crazy stuff. That's what we want. So we're not gonna X that out. Like anything in life, it's all about balance. So the Notion template that you're about to see is not your typical planning template that tells you to do all these things and track every second. It's basically just a roadmap for where you wanna go. The ones that you would 100% want to do actually happen and then you're mega fulfilled. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so hopping right into Notion, you'll see our trip planner for Mexico City, which is a trip I'll be going on. And right away, you'll notice this is extremely simple, straightforward, and it's gonna give us all the information we need while also not holding us back and being too scheduled. So right up front, you'll see that we have our dates here. I just typed those in. You could use a calendar, but I just chose to type them in. Weather as well, I just keep them here. And then I keep this embedded link right here so that when I'm about to go on my trip, I can click it and just double check that this is actually showing correctly. Maybe the weather has changed significantly and I wanna know. Next up, we have our packing list, which is directly usually correlated with the weather. And so we've got right here, you know, we've got our clothes, our travel necessities. Um, clothes are pretty straightforward. I pack the same as I do for two weeks as I do for two months. This trip is just four days, so it's pretty straightforward. And then we've got our travel necessities to make the airplane go by nicely, um, which is a few gravel products actually. So we got the travel blanket. We got our um, see-through TSA compliant bag that will keep our kind of just like need items on the plane in case anything happens, I mean, any delays, right? You wanna have what you need. Um, then we're gonna have obviously our laptop charger, our laptop. I have another compliant TSA bag that is see-through as well and that's super helpful because I keep my chargers and hard drives and cables in there. And so I know that I have everything without having to open it. So I really, really love using those. Um, and then we've got my whole camera gear list, which for me, because I create content, that's pretty significant and I'm always adding more to it, but usually on trips that I'm taking that are just a few days, I like to keep a really minimal kit. So I'll probably do that for this one. And then we've got our toiletries, um, again, some gravel products, um, the Explore Slim, and then also our uh, travel bottles, which is super useful. So throw those on there, don't wanna forget them. And then paperwork stuff, or like basically any documents. Um, obviously we'll need our passports. And then my husband is a green card holder, so we just gotta make sure we have the right paperwork for his entrance. Uh, one time we got stuck in Mexico City because he isn't a US citizen, so trying to get back, they made us wait an entire day. But it was kind of a silver lining because we got to explore Mexico City and we fell in love with it, so. Next up, we have cost of the trip. I like to do an on-ground cost, which is an estimate for how much I'll be spending throughout my four days there on the ground. 
Um, and then flight and hotel are a separate cost. Typically I do that because we'll be using Amex points to book the trip. So that cost might, you know, transfer to points and then it, it kind of differs in price. So I'll just put how much like basically the flight and hotel is saying it'll cost just to get a reference point for me. Um, and then after that, I will adjust those as well, um, you know, as I kind of figure out what I'm doing on the trip. Uh, and then we've got our flight info. This is kind of not important because you know that your flight info is gonna go to your Google Calendar or your Apple Calendar. I love to have them on my Apple Calendar so it's just right there on my phone and I'm getting notifications about when my flights are and what cities and all that stuff. And that comes directly from the email you get from booking your airline ticket. So usually I just put this here as like a last resort, like what if everything breaks and I like still can access Notion, I guess this will be here. Up next is kind of my favorite part, which is the schedule and cost breakdown. Schedule and cost breakdown, we've got our flights, times, things you wanna do, all the important stuff. This is gonna be completely unique to you and your scenario. I like to just throw the flight on there, what time we're arriving so that I know, okay, we're gonna get there at 2.45, cool. Um, and then I try to do cost here too, just cause it's helpful if things change, you can adjust your overall cost for the trip, either before or during um, or after if you're keeping track of your expenses. And then for me, I am gonna be creating videos. So I basically did my layout of the days of the trip per video I'll be creating. And then I'll kind of put a descriptor, maybe the location of the video. For you guys, you know, you would put like here, this is just like going to this Japanese restaurant I've heard really good things about. I put a link, so for reference, um, and then I'll figure out kind of like, okay, I'll hope to go there on the 22nd if we can. Um, same with these museums, you know, putting those on there. I'll even put like example content or, um, again, in this case, because I'm gonna be creating content, but if you were going just on a trip, I would put videos that showcase people exploring that thing and, you know, just to make sure that it's something you genuinely wanna do. Especially if you're going with a group, you can share this Notion page with them um, after you guys download the template and they'll be able to just see like what you've concepted for the whole trip, which is awesome. And then we've got some other things here too. And then of course our return flight. So up next, I like to do an inspiration videos or for you guys, um, you know, it could be like examples of the places you're trying to go. And then what's cool with Notion is all of these videos are embedded. So when I click play, it starts playing inside of Notion. I don't have to go to YouTube to watch this. Um, so I've just got a few there, just kind of what I want to experience. And then I always love to do this. Anywhere I'm going, I embed a map where the directions are from the airport to my first location. Um, I just love having this because I'm able to click on it with the Notion app on my phone and I'm able to just get right to those directions. Um, again, it's kind of like that backup support when you're traveling, like just so that you mentally know you already did it. Um, and you kind of have a visual for like how far it's gonna be like, okay, I need to account for an hour most likely with traffic and stuff. So I like to just have this here. And then I pin another map and these I'll usually ask friends. I'll ask friends who have traveled and I'll say, hey, can you send me your Mexico City like must do's or you know your favorite stuff on your pinned Google map? And they'll send me it and then I'll embed it into the Notion app and I'll kind of go through their locations and like choose what I want to do out of the things that they suggest. If you're still here, thank you so much. Make sure you subscribe because 98% of our viewers aren't subscribed. They're just watching and leaving. But if you want more travel videos, make sure to subscribe. We have so many more coming your way. We're almost done. Like I said, this is your planner for a type B person, so it's very, very straightforward. And the last two things, categories, are gonna be your must do's and your might do's. Now this pretty much just makes things super simple. It's like, here's the must do's that we've already decided we're absolutely gonna do. They're most likely gonna be on your schedule already, on your schedule and cost breakdown, which you'll see a few of them are. Um, and then you'll have those all here. And then your might do's, obviously you can figure out if you have time for them, figure out if the group you're with or if you wanna do a solo day and go do these individually. Um, these are as bullet points, but actually I'll be turning these into um, check off lists. So then you're able to uh, change them. You can just click that you did it once you go and you visit. I love doing that just so then mentally I'm like, oh yeah, we already went to that place. Also when you're in a foreign country, like. Um, to where you live. Obviously different languages are spoken and sometimes you can get confused, you know, maybe you won't remember 
Plaza Rio de, de Janeiro as much as you would like, you know, going to Disney World, right? So you want to just like remember that kind of stuff. So it's easy by just clicking it off on your to-do list. Um, and then I'll always link things that I want to look into to see if it's something that we really want to do. So this is kind of just like my links area and also just like different things that I want to check into and uh, really figure out if it's something that's I, that I really want to do. As you can see, I'm type B because I'm literally changing this template as I'm walking you guys through it. Um, but this is something I genuinely use. So we're not just like whipping this up for you guys to, you know, find it's, it's something that I'm actually using on an upcoming trip and I've used on trips before um, to New York and to Italy and I absolutely loved having this kind of template to work off of. Especially if you're going somewhere with a goal in mind and maybe you're doing content creation or you know, maybe you're going with a group and you're gonna do very specific things. It's nice to just have like your different scenario options ready to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. If it's about Notion or just travel in general, always happy to have chats with you guys. And we're stoked to just keep making videos about travel and to serve the community with gravel. See you guys in the next one. Peace.